In recent years, the rise of Linux as a viable gaming platform has been nothing short of revolutionary, largely thanks to innovations like the Steam Deck that bring Linux gaming into the mainstream. However, as any Linux gamer will tell you, the ecosystem is not without its challenges, particularly when it comes to determining which Windows games will play nicely with Linux. This is where ProtonDB comes into play, a tool that many in the community turn to for insights on game compatibility. In today's episode, we will discuss where the real challenges are. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. The dual edge sword of ProtonDB. ProtonDB was created to fill a significant gap left by Steam, which has traditionally lacked comprehensive compatibility documentation for running Windows games on Linux. At its core, ProtonDB is a community-driven project where users submit reports detailing their experiences with various games on Linux, using Steam's Proton compatibility layer to run them. This grassroots database is designed to be a treasure trove of information, helping to demystify the often complex process of gaming on Linux. Users on ProtonDB provide detailed feedback on each game, including the specific tweaks and workarounds they use to get games running. Based on these reports, games are assigned a rating using a medal system. Starting at the top, the Platinum Medal is awarded to games that run flawlessly right out of the box. These are the gems that require no additional tweaking or adjustments. Just install and play as if you were on a native Windows system. It's the ideal scenario for any gamer looking to dive straight into the action without the hassle of troubleshooting or configuring settings. Next in line is the Gold Rating. These games also offer a smooth gaming experience but might need a bit of user intervention to get there. Perhaps a setting needs to be adjusted or a specific configuration file tweaked, but once these minor preparations are made, the game runs perfectly. This category is great for users who don't mind doing a little bit of legwork to get their games running optimally. The silver medal indicates games that are playable but come with their share of minor issues. These might be occasional graphical glitches, some lag or other small bugs that don't completely ruin the gaming experience but are noticeable. Players who are okay with not having a perfectly polished experience and can tolerate minor imperfections will find these games adequate for their Linux setups. Bronze is where things start to get a bit rough. Games with a bronze rating are technically playable but suffer from significant issues that could affect gameplay comfort. These might include frequent crashes, severe graphical problems, or other major bugs that can disrupt gameplay and deter a smooth gaming experience. Gamers who opt for these games should be prepared for a less than ideal play session and might need to invest time in searching for workarounds or patches. Lastly, the borked category is for those games that just don't work. Whether they fail to start up at all or crash so frequently that playing is a chore, these games are considered unplayable. This rating is a clear red flag for Linux gamers, signaling that they should steer clear unless future updates or Proton enhancements make them viable options. While the intention behind ProtonDB is solid, the execution often falls short of its goal. The main issue lies in the oversimplified metal rating system. Introduced in 2018 to help clarify and improve the accuracy of game reports, it unfortunately often does just the opposite. For instance, a game with a bronze rating might launch and run, but it could be plagued with crashes, poor performance, and bugs that make it virtually unplayable, hardly what one would call a playable state. A glaring example of this is Paladins, a popular multiplayer online battle arena game that heavily relies on multiplayer functionality. Until about a year ago, Paladins was playable on Linux. However, after the developers, hi -Rez Studios, tweaked its easy anti-cheat system, the game lost compatibility with Linux, rendering its multiplayer component, a core aspect of the game, completely non-functional. Despite this, ProtonDB's outdated ratings might still mislead some users into thinking the game is somewhat playable. Similarly, Sniper Elite 5.2 is listed with a bronze rating on ProtonDB, suggesting that it might be playable with some hiccups. Yet, there have been consistent user reports for over a year that the game doesn't even launch. These discrepancies between the metal ratings and the real user experience highlight the fundamental flaws in ProtonDB's rating system. The reliability gap and the future of ProtonDB. The reliability of ProtonDB's ratings is a crucial issue for Linux gamers who often rely on the platform to make informed decisions about which games to buy or try. 
The current system pushes users to delve into detailed reports for a clearer picture, which can be a time-consuming process that many would prefer to avoid. The ideal solution would be a more nuanced rating system that provides at-a-glance information about a game's compatibility while still being backed by detailed user reports for those who want more in-depth information. The ProtonDB project is, at heart, a labor of love by Buck DeFour, who manages it without any official obligation to do so. Given its status as a passion project, the challenges and limitations it faces are understandable. However, as Linux gaming continues to grow, the need for more reliable and user-friendly tools becomes more apparent. Interestingly, Valve has started to address some of these issues by integrating Linux compatibility information directly into the Steam client. This feature, still in beta, aims to provide official compatibility data right on the game's store page. Yet, nearly a year after its introduction, it remains somewhat hidden and underutilized by the vast majority of users. For those looking for a more robust gaming experience on Linux, alternatives to the Steam Deck like the Lenovo Legion Go are becoming increasingly popular. Priced at $649.99, the Lenovo Legion Go supports various Linux distributions such as Nobara Linux and Chimera OS, and offers powerful hardware that can handle a broader range of games. In conclusion, while ProtonDB serves an invaluable role within the Linux gaming community, its effectiveness is hampered by an oversimplified rating system that often doesn't tell the whole story. As the community continues to expand, the development of more accurate and user-friendly tools will be crucial. The ongoing evolution of ProtonDB, coupled with Valve's efforts and the rise of powerful Linux-compatible hardware, paints a promising picture for the future of Linux gaming. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Thanks for watching.